Hello everyone, Andy again at GAATech.com. So, what have we got in the blue box today? Let's tip the parts out and have a look. Okay, it looks like we've got some rubber vibration, anti-vibration mountings. Got a couple of rubber bands. Some plates. Some female female standoffs and some nuts uh, some bolts sorry so what's it going to make well it's going to make the crash protection cage for mobius that I've, I've told you about obviously we all know the mobius it's a great little hd fpv camera and this device allows you to mount it on many different types of aircrafts and cars with a bit of anti-vibration and this these parts here and duh, 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 this part here gives it full crash protection so in the event you have a hard landing hopefully the Mobius won't get damaged so I'm just going to show you the parts in a little bit more detail so this is the mounting plate this is allowing the Mobius assembly to mount onto something that you want to attach it to so you've got all these slotted holes to be able to mount it onto your vehicle, car, plane, motorbike, whatever it is. This is the uh, the Mobius mount and this part is the top crash protection. In actual fact, there is going to be an update for this part where there's going to be a cutout in the middle here, which is the same profile as the Mobius mount. So here we are. The, these are the bits that come with the Mobius. So the this bottom plate will actually have a cutout in the bottom, which will allow the Mobius plate to line up exactly. So there's going to be an extra hole cut in this plate to allow the tripod adapter to go through so should you put the I'm going to call this the Mobius cradle you can put the cradle on um, without the rubber mountings so you'd have to say zip tie through the hooks on and then you can use that anyway that, that will come out a, a little bit later so what we're going to do we're going to mount the Mobius without the, without the cradle onto the plate so first thing we're going to do is let's just zoom in a little bit here first thing we're going to do is going to put the rubber mountings onto the plates now I've already used a file where wherever you're going to have silicon rubber or rubber bands you just need to run a file around both sides just to take off the square edges obviously this is FR4 uh, fiberglass so the, the, when it's cut there is square edges so just running a file around anywhere where the silicon is going to touch or where the rubber bands are going to touch uh, is a good idea so we're just now going to put the silicon the um, silicon dampers on so you can start off with base plates you can just squeeze these on push them through and give them a little pull Here's one. Make sure you sort of push it more than halfway through, then they come through quite easily. Two. Three. And four. Now to get the next part on you need to look at you need to look at your Mobius and make sure that the bottom plate where this is the bottom plate so it's going to sit like this has the lens protector to the left hand side so that's going on there so the plate's going to fix under here so now this is the more tricky part because we're starting to get cramped on room but again you just push them more than halfway through and then make sure the rubber seated properly and I find it's better to do two on the longer side first for 
pull them through, do the front two. And there you are, so you can see the rubber bushes are, are sitting nicely. So that's half the mount now, now completed. So what you can do, you can now put your Mobius camera and it's been so designed that the, the bottom of the Mobius camera is now gonna sit on four of the rubber bushes. So you've got the four rubber bushes. When the Mobius is on, it's actually sitting on the top of four rubber bushes. Now you can just use the rubber bands to hook around the front. Give it one twist, hook it on at the back, straighten out the, the band so it looks nice and neat. Okay, so that gives you know fair amount of um, um, fixing for the Mobius. Then there's that just extra belt and braces fitting uh, of the rubber band just on the back, and that just stops the Mobius from moving really. So, that is now secure. So you can use this bottom plate now to fix whatever. These are three mil slots. So any three mil fixings that you want to use will attach this Mobius mount onto your uh, craft or whatever it is. Obviously you've got uh, access to the buttons. You can see the red light. You've got access to the SD card. If you're using it for FPV, all you've got to do is push the rubber band to one side very gently, push your um, FPV connector in and away you go. Uh, the top light you can see as well um, just by adjusting the, the rubber bands and once they're adjusted they don't really move. So that's half the mount really so it's not particularly uh, high from top of one plate to the bottom of another plate is about 17 millimeters so it's going to give you 17 mil. So, to the top of the deck, it is about 41 mil. So, from the bottom here to the top of there is about 41 mil. So, that that gives you some uh, protection for your Mobius and a little bit of anti-vibration mounting. Now, we're now going to move on to the full crash protection cage, um, and all that is is by adding the extra standoffs. So once you've got your Mobius mounted, if you want the full crash protection, all you've got to do is put the bolts through, screw up, do the next one. Up. Now you just put the top plate on, making sure you get the top plate around the right way. Obviously, uh, the lens pet tacked on the left. You've got your buttons on the right, so these are the holes of the buttons.
And there we have it. That that's the Mobius um, in its little crash case housing. Housing. So you've got access to um, power, um, camera, and mode. You can see the red light. Oh, sorry, the red and the orange light there, and the red and the red one at the back. So that's it. Um, th these slots here. Well. These circles here are above, are just above the heat sinks of the Mobius to help airflow. Obviously, it's going to air is going to be whizzing through, so it's not going to overheat. These additional slots are just for um, taking a bit of weight out and to allow you to strap anything else on. Um, this slot here and this slot here is going to be for an upgrade once I find some suitable uh, material. What I've intend to make is a perspex lens protector. Uh, I haven't got any perspex uh, or a neutral density filter yet to to try in that. I might have to just adjust the, um, the slots slightly to make sure that the uh, the lens is uh, doesn't see uh, the edges of the perspex. That might be a little bit tight so I might just have to extend, extend them out, out slightly but I'm pretty certain when I drew it in uh, the CAD system that the angle of the lens, it's what is it, Mobius is 170 mm lens. Um, the slots should be wide enough already to take it. But once I get the uh, material, I, I can test that and, and give you an update. So that is the the Mobius fully crash protected. Um, it now stands off the deck. about 49 millimeters so from the rubber bottom of the rubber to the top of the uh, screws 49 millimeters and the overall is pretty much 87 by the widest points can be the rubber band fixings about 58 59 millimeters um, so, so not bad at all. So that can be either underslung on whatever you're putting on because you can turn the video around in the Mobius. If you use a Mobius software, you can tell the camera it's actually hanging upside down. If you mount it the right way up again, you tell the Mobius in its software that it's right way up. And then when you're doing your video editing, if you're going to do it like that, there's no need to um, flip it over. It all takes time. So you've got, again, access to the SD card. Uh, should you need to remove it by putting rubber bands and if you need to put in uh, the video out um, lead again you can just push it in there uh, and there we have it so uh, tell me what you think um, I will weigh it and tell you how much the mount weighs um, but I think that's not a bad little design to give your Mobius some protection no one nights crashing um, and hopefully this, this will save your £60, I think these Mobius cameras are, um, from any, any damage and it helps to get rid of any jello subject to you having a, a, a balanced aircraft, um, get, get rid of the horrible jello. So I'm going to wait before I end the video and any questions that you've got please just post them below and I'll do my best to answer them. There's also going to be a very similar amount to this for the uh, GPS and compass for the, the NASA so I'm just doing the drawing so basically this NASA compass and GPS unit is going to be housing a, a housing using these standoffs and nuts and bolts to protect this because you know this is an expensive piece of equipment and they are uh, normally mounted on a pole these are going to be in the shop very shortly um, this hasn't been assembled yet. This is a uh, foldable, um, collapsible, I should say, and foldable GPS mount housing for that. So obviously you can get your, your NASA away, but these are going to be appearing in the shop very shortly. Um, obviously these have to be glued together. There is a grub screw this end, but uh, you know it's best to glue them and pin them at the same time. And it can fix any engine model. Anyway, I'm digressing. So, if you like the the idea of crash protection for the Mobius camera, look out for a future video for crash protecting your 
uh, GPS and compass housings. Um, if you like the video, do give me a thumbs up. You know, um, I know I am advertising my products I'm developing, which are going to appear in my shop. But if you tell me what you like, then I can, you know, develop products that you like and looking for. I want my shop not to be a shop selling the normal motors, speed controllers, handsets, frames, etc. I want you to be able to come to my shop and find the unusual. Um, it's unusual because I, I design them and I manufacture them at the moment, so you're not going to find these anywhere else unless someone starts copying the idea. Um, they will be available very shortly. I am working hard on the website, uh, but it all takes a little bit of time um, trying to design products to put on the website, so when the website is launched, the website doesn't look empty. Uh, it is quite tough um, when you've got a full-time job as well. So, that is the Mobius. Gives it crash protection. Um, you know, this is not going to damage. Oh, it's like a rubber ball, depending which way you, you drop it. But that's giving my Mobius some protection, and I'll be quite happy putting that on any test machine and flying it. And should it come uh, down to earth pretty quickly, I would be reasonably happy that it's going to be protected and survive the impact. Anyway, that's it for now. Andy from GAATech.com, please give me a thumbs up and uh, tell me what you think. Cheers for now.